Good morning everyone. It is the 19th of December and I am actually on the way to a very secret warehouse to pick up my new project for a 2020 Formula Drift. And uh, by the time you guys see this, I'm sure the car will be done and ready for combat. But I am very excited because I haven't seen the car yet. Uh, I don't even know what color it is or the specs. So I'm going in blind to uh, meet up my TRD rep and scoop, scoop up the car. So uh, yeah, let's uh, document this whole process and see what kind of excitement we can find in the build process. I've never actually done one of these, so it's gonna be pretty exciting to document the whole thing. And uh, of course, we have a solid plan for the build. Uh, we have amazing partners that are already on board, so uh, along the way, of course, we'll be highlighting some of the products that'll be going on. And uh, I'm just really excited for it, so I can't wait to show you guys. All right, we're here at the secret warehouse, and I don't know if I can film inside, and I'm actually pretty sure I can't, so... Um, oh well, I guess we'll have to see and find out. Good morning. <laughs> So you said anything outside is okay? Yeah, yeah. Anything that we don't want nobody to see, we keep it actually in the room, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. That's smart. What's up? How you doing? Good, man. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. There it is. That's my baby. Well, this one is it. Uh, that is my baby right there. We'll see uh, how we can turn this bad boy into a lean, mean, winning machine. So while I wait for a lift inside, I'm gonna, or actually it already started stripping down the car. So I started off in the back. Of course, all these panels are starting to come off. And uh, of course, I don't have all the tools to get a lot of these bolts off because they're torques. And I'm not used to working on torques. I gotta go buy a whole new tool set just to work on this guy. The interior is looking a little messy right now because we're still in the middle of what looks like destroying, but we're actually stripping down the whole interior to get it prepped for roll cage. Look, this guy. It's like a little joystick. Kevin? All right, I'm gonna start cutting the back half of the car. It's my first time plasma cutting. What could go wrong? job is done for today. I spent all morning cutting up the back end of the car. I'm gonna let Sean finish up the cage and then uh, Ben is gonna start doing some of the framework like rear crash bar, radiator mount, uh, steering mount. The, the column is uh, somewhere but there's a rack on the floor. Of course mocking up the engine. Woo! 
So we're gonna go ahead and uh, open that up and start installing it on our Supra. Well, Ben works on the backside, so I'll go ahead and start, I guess, stripping some of this down, prep it for paint, and then uh, go ahead and install our wise back kit. Here's a front knuckle. Ooh, and a cookie. They sent us a cookie. This is a left hub. Got the lower control arms. And then the top hats. Yep. Ah! Alright, fine, Kevin. Asshole. The rear, we don't have a subframe right now, so that's gonna have to wait till later, but I'll go ahead and get started on the front side. Hey Sean, how long ago could the cage have been, been done? I'm not talking about this. This is some bullshit. Uh, please, for the YouTubers, we can't monetize it if you cuss a lot. What are we doing today? Making the car look pretty. Mm, but we're not even at the stage where we need to do that yet. Well, I can't get my hands on the car because all I'm gonna do is just get in their way. Is it because nobody trusts you putting your hands on the car? No, it's because my job for now is this. Is it because we've had to do the cage twice? Tell the viewers at home why we've had to do the cage twice. I don't know. What, ha why, what happened? Why is there a... Why is there a cut of cage right there? <laughs> what happened? Hmm. What did happen? Well, someone here didn't read the rule book. Hmm. And chopped up some of the body panels that we weren't supposed to chop up. Who is that? Someone. I don't know. This guy named Ken. Morning. It's uh, February 10th. We're 53 days into our build since we took possession of our A90 Supra. And today I am taking our B58 out of the car, which we've been using for mock up, to send it over to Blue Moon so we can finally start our engine build. Um, it's getting pretty close to Long Beach, and I think we have something like 60 days from now to Long Beach, I think. Um, so we should be halfway done with our build, but I don't think we're anywhere close halfway. And of course, being a new car, we have a lot of challenges, like not knowing what works, what does it. But on a positive note, Supertech sent me their uh, valve train parts. Woohoo! So I'm going to take that along with our B58 over to Blue Moon and have them start uh, this assembly and obviously building up the engine for competition. But this will be engine number one. Funny story is I have to go pick up a wrecked Supra that they used in a movie, in hit movie, uh, and then uh, pull out another B58 from that one. Uh, to build as my spare engine. So meanwhile, while number one is being built at Blue Moon, engine number two is gonna be back in the car for mock-up so we can use it for intercooler piping, uh, lining up the transmission, all the other good stuff, uh, building the harness, etc. So getting pretty anxious because time is running pretty low and I have a shit lot of work to do. So we'll go ahead and check out what's been done to the car today. A lot of the rear end stuff, not the rear end as a drive train, but the rear bulkhead stuff is done. Ben built me a pretty nice back firewall um, and he's done the fab work for the radium fill cell mount. Uh, the radiator bracket, I have another spare radiator back there that I was still gonna weld up some uh, mounts to. So let's go ahead and check out the car, see where we're at, and uh, 
see how close we are cutting it to Long Beach. Yikes. This is kind of what the car looks like at this point. Of course, we still have our engine because we were using it for mock-up. Uh, the front end area is pretty much done for now. Wise fab is temporarily hooked up. Uh, we cut up the wheel well area for a little bit of clearance and welded up the plate. So that's good. The cage is about 85, maybe 90% finished. We're still missing the side door bars, but that's all cut up already. All we gotta do is weld it in. Uh, we just didn't wanna do that yet because of all the other stuff that's involved, like mocking up the pedal box, the steering column. Uh, we still need to cut a hole for the shifter. Uh, I have the seats and seat mounts. I just haven't put those in yet because obviously that's gonna get in the way. Uh, we just finished the firewall for the back end. As you can see, some of the tab mounts are right here. Uh, but we took it out because we still have a lot of other stuff to build. Now for the back end, uh, we are still working on clearance for the winters. But other than that, a lot of the interior stuff has been uh, doing pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the engine and have it get to Blue Moon so they can start on the build. All right, so we got the engine out and uh, Shingo from Blue Moon actually was generous enough to come pick up the engine. So there it is. That is our B58 that Blue Moon is going to build for us along with these awesome super tech parts. So that's just for the head for now. All the BC stuff is gonna come in about a few weeks. But that'll be engine number one. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Moon. So we'll be excited to uh, see what kind of build it'll turn out to be. All right, just uh, dropping off some parts to Rob here at Blue Moon. There's our bad boy engine right here. So these parts are for this engine, B58. I'll take those for you. Cool, thanks. Very much unfamiliar territory for me. As you guys can see, the car is still in pieces, it's still being worked on, but one major component that's missing is a rear end. And this year I decided to go with the winter's quick change. So I'm gonna give my guys over at Sikia a call and see if they can help me out. What day is it? Uh, tomorrow's Long Beach. Night. Do you like shooting me close up like that? Not one bit. Holy camoli! Oh! Hello, IP. Oh, I even like the way it goes in. Ah, that's tight enough. How happy are you with all the radium stuff in the car? They are only the best, and we like to use only the best. So. We haven't finished our radium setup, but a lot of their components are already on the car. The fuel cell tank, the FCST. Cool and expansion system. A lot of cool gadgets, drive brake.
What's up everyone? I'm here at Gretty and today, or actually right now, I'm going to be mounting some Achilles on our gram lights, 57 DRs, because this coming week we're going testing! Looks like it's already ready for me. 